All right, let's get started on the fender patch. And the inside brace. I'm only going to cut so much. Just what you see here, that's about all I'm going to take out. I'll be cutting right along in here. Grind the side of this down, peel all this skin here off, and go ahead and make me a pattern with what I got here. Then I'll uh, tackle with this inside brace here. As you can tell, I'll probably cut it along in this area right in here and fit that on in. Because I sure don't need all of it, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle this and see what we're looking like. Got to be real careful. Keep that same curve there going on. But we're going to work with it. Here we go. Alright, now I've seen David do this over at Mobile Hot Rod Repair. He made him a pattern. Went on around and scribed it before we cut anything out. Kept a mark here and there so you can keep it right once you get to cutting. And you can check it every now and then. So that's going to help out a lot once I get to cutting everything out. All right, here we go. I went on and cut the rest of the skin on out. And uh, I want to keep this in here, this brace in here for now, until I get this cut in. Of course, I ain't going to weld it or nothing. I just want to cut. Go ahead and put this up there and scribe that patch on in there. Of course, I'll make it a little big. I'll just kind of scribe on around here and kind of get what I need for now until I fill with that brace right there. So uh, I'm going to go and get this cut on out and uh, we'll look at it. Of course, I ain't going to be in the ends or nothing over. I ain't going to do no weld. I just want to look at it until I can cut this brace out up in here somewhere. So let's see what we can do. Alright, here we go. Got the patch cut in. Got it looking pretty good. A good fit all the way around. Got this edge bent over right here. Right in here just a little bit so it'll kind of hook on in there a little bit until I get it welded on up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and weld this on in here real quick. And uh, work it right against this old part here, but I know I'm going to cut it out and replace it. But uh, go ahead and weld this first. I'm gonna do it a little different from what I've seen it done before. <clears throat> this is what it is. So, so what I'm gonna do, like I said, get this welded, then put that in. So let's see what happens. Alright, 
Got the patch spot welded on in there for now. Don't want to weld it all the way yet. Uh, everything turned out pretty good. Can't do nothing with this edge right here until we get the back brace cut on out. I'll get this back brace cut right along in this area. Cut this out, bend it back, and slide that new brace in there and get it welded on in. Get it right before we do any welding up. So that's what that's looking like. And of course, after this brace goes in, I'll just drill all the way through this area and weld it up. Turned out pretty good. And of course, we'll do some hammer and dolly right in here and get this looking right all the way down after we get this back brace in. But all right, let's go at it again. All right, here we go. Got a little light on me last night, so I'm going to crank it back up this morning. I'm going to go ahead and get this cut. Got a line right here. Got a putty knife here. I'm going to cram under there so I won't damage the fender in any kind of way. I'm going to get that cut. I'm going to have to cut through that lip a little bit so I can pull this out. Went on got my measurement from center of the hole to here. 12 inches. And then back here, 12 inches. And I measured 3 inches right there. Try to line this up, keep it in the same place. I'll go ahead and cut this new one here, right along in here. It's about a quarter inch longer and I'll set and kind of metal with it a little bit. But here we go. Alright. Got this piece here cut to fit. Looking real good right there. Before I install it, can't get behind here, so I'm gonna go and put a little undercoating on it real quick to help that, you know, future there. Alright, here we go. Gave this time to dry, helped it out with the heat gun a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Put me a few welds here. Well first I'm gonna get my measurement. Make sure I'm right here, 12 inches right here which was looking pretty good when I cut it so I know I'm pretty close make sure this one's right adjust that side to side and uh, fool with it from there so here we go All right, got this spotted on in for now. Everything was looking good. I'm gonna push this down real good, keep it good and tight. I gotta drill me three holes right here and weld all the way through these three like it was original. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just gonna put me a little spot weld right there to hold that down to make sure our curve looks right with the pattern I drawed out earlier. I want to make sure that's going to be right before I weld everything up. So I'll just put a spot weld, maybe weld some more around here, start looking at everything and just kind of go slowly with it and check it out. Alright, went on to put me a little spot weld right in there to hold this, secure that for now until I can get some things weld, welded up here. Uh, check it with my pattern here. And I'm looking pretty good all the way around. Still got to knock all this in a little bit right here. So 
everything's looking pretty good where I can start doing some welding, so. Fix do a number on it. Alright, what I'm doing, welding a few, four or five, then come back and grinding them down. Then weld a few more. Then do the same thing, kind of letting them cool down a little bit, you know, before welds. But, uh, yeah, all right. Alright, got everything welded. Still gotta come back and put a grind down on it. I took these welds all the way through, drilled a hole and went all the way through with it. I do a little number right in there. Like I said, still gotta grind everything down. Turned out good. No warpage nowhere. Finished welding that after everything was secure and looked real good. Went on and drilled some holes right here, just down to this other brace back here, and welded that in. I'll do a little grinding back here, not much. Turns looking real good all the way around. Maybe a little bit more knocking around, hammering dolly when it comes to body work, but I'm going to go ahead and drill another hole right in here to let that water and stuff get out when I'm going down the road, whatever, because it's only got one hole here. That really ain't enough. Yeah, I'll drill right in there somewhere. But all right, let me grind this on down, throw some etch primer on it. Let it set for a while. All right, I think I'm finished for now. Got it all in prime, ready to go. Of course, body work and this and that. Turned out pretty good. I let my welds cool down real good. Don't have no humps or uh, bows or nothing. Here's the inside. I left the welds on there. I wasn't going to fool with that. Drilled the extra hole right here. An escape hole. Well, that is done. We're going to start uh, the shore skin on the outside and the inside. Got them right in there. That's the inside one. That's the outside one for both sides. But yeah, I'm going to hit that in the next couple days. All right. That's got that. All right. We'll catch you guys next time. Take it easy.